Hello and welcome to the Capital Wasteland, more specifically to Canterbury Commons. Throughout this trading town are a number of small details that we can discover, and now that I have, I present to you 5 secrets you may have missed in Canterbury Commons. Starting us off we have the unmarked quest, Merchant Empire. If we interact with Uncle Ro, he will give the player the choice to invest in one of four merchants. This will increase the amount of items they sell, broaden the variety, and improve the merchant's ability to repair the player's items to near perfect condition. After sinking 2800 bottle caps, or 1400 with the Master Trader perk, the player will receive something from each of the merchants as a personal thanks for their investment. Crazy Wolfgang will give the player between 2 and 6 Stealth Boys, Dark Half between 3 and 7 Stimpaks, Lucky Harith will give the player a mini nuke that he calls a micro nuke, and Crow will give the player a unique piece of armor creatively named Crow's Ibot Helmet. The youngest settler of Canterbury Commons is a small boy named Derek. Derek is a big fan of both the Mechanist and Antagonizer, who occasionally battle around the town. During the quest, Superhuman Gambit, the player can ask Derek about the superhero and supervillain for various pieces of information. If the player asks Derek if he knows a way to stop them, he will say this. No way! Don't stop them, they're awesome! Unless... Maybe you're going to be a superhero too. He will then go on to give the player one of four nicknames depending on what the player's special stats are. If we have high strength or endurance, Derek will say, You could be called super humongous and fight them with an army of super mutants. If we have high agility or charisma, Derek will say, You could be called awesome claw and fight them with an army of death claws. If we have high perception or intelligence, Derek will say, you could be called Brilliant Shadow and undermine all their plots with an army of mole rats. If we have high luck, Derek will say, You could be called Incredibly Lucky Girl and you could fight them with an army of, um, Mireworks who just happen to do what you tell them. And if the player has low stats, Derek will say this. You could be called, um, uh, well, maybe you wouldn't make a very good superhero. Just don't fight them, okay? At the end of the town's main quest, we can either side with one of the supers and kill the other, destroy both supers, or peacefully convince them to hand over their uniforms and leave the town forever. If the player does resolve the town's issue peacefully, then both the Mechanist and Antagonizer will leave their hideouts. Tanya Kristoff will leave Canterbury Commons and disappear, while Scott Wilinski will make his way to the back entrance of the Antagonizer's lair. Here he will stand staring off into the waste. If interacted with, he only has this to say. I'm sorry. Just leave me alone. I've got a lot to think about. Canterbury Commons really doesn't have that many people, and the only one with a peculiar name is a young girl called Machete. If the player has previously visited Little Lamplight, then there will be an additional dialogue option regarding her name. We can ask if she got that name from Lamplight Caverns, which she confirms, and tells the player of how it came to be. Good guess. I was the toughest defender they ever saw in Lamplight. I earned my nickname fighting off a mole rat with a knife as big as my arm. When I left, I figured I'd pass on a cushy place like Big Town. I ended up here. Dom took me on as a guard. And that's that. And lastly, we have something that might have been overlooked by the developers. As I have already mentioned, the town's quest can be resolved peacefully with both supers handing over their costumes and walking away. However, if the player dons one of their uniforms and interacts with the opposing super, there will be a unique piece of dialogue which results in hostility. Both the antagonizer and mechanist will act the same way upon seeing their rival, which is just the player in disguise, and become hostile. Aha! Vile antagonizer! You've got a lot of moxie invading my private sanctum. Pretty courageous for a spineless insect. But this is as far as you go. Now it's time to put down the foot of justice and crush your nefarious plans once and for all. Open. Oh. Ah. Ah. 
So, Mechanist, you've come to throw yourself on the mercy of the Ant Queen? Very well. We shall grant you the kindest of our gifts for any human. A swift death. Look what we have here. Where? I guess old habits really do die hard. And there we have it, five secrets you may have missed in Canterbury Commons. Before you go, I would like to remind you of five things you could do to support the channel. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and enable notifications. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next adventure.